Welcome to this introduction to Power Apps Checker for XRM Toolbox with me, Jonas Rapp. In this episode, I'll walk you through the basic features of the tool and give you my personal tips and tricks. First, I'll explain how the tool connects to the different services required. XRM Toolbox connects to a common data service or Dynamics 365 environment. Then you need to authenticate the Azure Active Directory. You have an app registration there that will be used for the Power Apps Checker API. You can either authenticate using a client ID and client secret or as an interactive login where you also have API permissions for the Power App Checker service. When all this is in place, you can start using the Power App Checker for XRM Toolbox. To explain the basic structure of the tool, first it downloads all the rules and rule sets from the Power App Checker service. Then you export the solution from the Dynamics environment. You can also use a local file. Either way, that solution is then uploaded to the service where you invoke the analysis using the rules and rule sets that you have selected. Then you have to check the progress of the analysis. This can take some time. Once it's done, you download the analysis results, which is in the Sarif format. And then these results are displayed to the user. But don't be scared by all these steps. The tool handles everything for you. When you start the tool, connect to the environment where you have the solutions you want to check. It's also possible to use the tool without connecting to an environment, checking solution files that you've already exported. When you start the tool, it will load all the rules and rule sets available in the Power App Checker service. The rules are grouped by severity or category. When you select the rule, details about that specific rule will be shown below. You can also click the link to show detailed information about the rule in the Microsoft documentation. To use the Power App Checker service, we need to be authenticated to an Azure Active Directory application. You can authenticate using either an interactive user login or a client ID and a client secret. Click the help icon to get more information about the different fields on the form. When using non-interactive authentication, you need both the application ID, the client secret and the directory ID of your Azure tenant. Remember to use the help icons to learn how to set this up. Note that the Power App Checker service is available in different geographies. Choose the one where you want your analysis to be performed. When you perform an interactive user login, you get prompted with a good old classic Azure login dialog. But if you choose authentication using client ID and client secret, everything is done without interaction from the user. To select the solution to analyze, we can either get it from the CDS or Dynamics 365 instance we're connected to, or open a local file from your computer. For this demo, I will use the CoolRap solution in the CDS environment that I have connected to. Now it's time to select the rules or the rule set to use for the analysis. When running the Power App Checker in the Maker portal, it's always applying the Solution Checker rule set. But here we can select freely from the available rules. And finally, it's time to invoke the analysis. Since I selected a solution in my Dynamics environment, it will start with exporting that solution. Once that is done, the solution file will be uploaded to the Power App Checker service. Now the tool invokes the analysis and starts polling the service to follow the progress. When the analysis is completed, the tool downloads the result. In this view, you see all the issues identified by the analysis. You can filter by severity, rule, category, and so on. If you expand the panel to the right, you see all the details about the selected issue. For each issue, you have a link to online documentation regarding the specific rule that caused the issue. It's easy to filter by, for instance, category here and you can double-click the issues to get the details pane expanded. 
Filtering by component type managed code will show you all issues discovered in C-sharp code, for instance in plugins. We can also have a look at the details of the result file, which follows the open standard of Sarif. Read more about that on the link on the screen. The Sarif file can be saved locally for later analysis or analysis using one of the tools available from the Sarif website. Without going into further detail, the Sarif file contains all the rules that have been checked, all the files that were analyzed, and all the issues that were found during the analysis. Next tab is the analysis details, where you can find IDs for troubleshooting, start time, end time, which solution file that was analyzed, and which rule or rule sets that were applied. And finally, there's a tab listing all the files in the solution that have been analyzed. As I mentioned, you can also open a saved Sarif file for further analysis. I'm now just playing around a bit in the Sarif Analyzer to show you how you can filter on severity, rule, category, component and so on. Notice that for each filtering option you also have a counter indicating how many issues were encountered for this rule, category, component or severity. Depending on which rule that has been violated, you can actually get a quite good snippet of the code that uh, caused the violation. If you need more screen real estate for the Serif Analyzer, you can unpin the Analysis Go panel. Of course, you can drag the size of the details uh, flyout, and you can actually even undock the whole Serif Analyzer to get a full screen window with all the analysis results. And then you can dock the Serif Analyzer back to the tool main window and restore the analysis scope panel. I'm Jonas Rapp. I want to thank you so much for watching this tutorial. And don't forget to go to powerappchecker.com for the latest news about this tool.